Hi everybody, welcome back to Cat's Book Nook. Today is Monday, the 7th of May. I don't know why I'm stuttering on that one. Um, Mostly because I should have recorded these yesterday and I just didn't. I got home kind of late and just sat on my couch and listened to Ready Player One, which is really, really awesome if you guys haven't checked it out yet. So, um, first video that I'm going to do is new books. So yesterday was the last day of Grassroots Books warehouse sale for the week. So every three weeks they do a warehouse sale from Thursday to Sunday. And on Sunday, if you show up with a grocery bag, you can get how many books fit in a grocery bag for five bucks. It's a great deal. So you can rack up on hundreds of books. Not hundreds, because they've got good selections. But you can rack up a couple bags worth of books and only pay $20, $30 for them. And that's if you get four or five bags. I did, and I just got one. So, I did good. I thought I did really well. Mostly because I actually went down to Reno yesterday for the comic book shop, which do did not carry the third single for Strangers in Paradise. So, I'm trying to pick up all the singles for the new Strangers in Paradise. Because I love Terry Moore. Terry Moore, if you're watching this, you were fantastic. You were great. Keep keep on doing what you do, because you're, you're doing great. Um, but yeah, so picked up a couple books. We're looking at eight. So I picked up eight books yesterday for $5. I thought it was really good. So Valley of Horses and the Plains of Passage by Jane All. This goes with the Clan of the Cave Bear series. I don't know what numbers these are. Um, picked up The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I think I have a copy of this, but now I have a complete set. I hope. Pretty sure I do. Because I got, yeah, I do have the complete set here at least. So, yeah, there's that. Um, Blue Bloods by Melissa De La Cruz. She is the same author that is doing the new, it's not new. She came out with the Alex and Eliza series. That's what I'm going to call the series for now until I actually get the real name for it. Um, but I read the graphic novel for this and I wanted to pick up the actual book. So they had that and then I picked up a copy of Middlesex by Jeffrey I don't know how you say his last name but um talks about 1950s 1967 so late 1960s about a Greek American family who they're child who is born a girl actually is a guy so I started this book several several years ago um I don't read a lot of LGBTQ books so I figured picking this up would be a good idea add it to my collection of things I need to read um picked up a copy of Songs of Willow Frost by Jamie Ford I've already read this this year so I just needed a physical copy of it for myself then we have the second book in the, I'm going to say the Bone Season series. So it's Bone Season, the Mime Order, and then there's, there's a third book to that set. But I have the Bone Season at home, and they had this for in the warehouse sale, and I'm like, I'm going to pick it up because it's there. And then the last one I picked up was The Lake of Dreams by Kim Edwards. I have not read The Memory Keeper's Daughter. I don't know what this particular book is about. So, I'm um, looking forward to a surprise. The last surprise I started this weekend didn't turn out so well. Um, and I'll talk about that in my weekly wrap-up video. So with that, those are the eight books that I picked up this week. Um, let me go record my weekly wrap-up video, and I will talk to you guys soon.